so evil and comfortable living feeble. All over the world, we are back to go. Truth is coming after Show y'all son. Hey, before you press play, sorry. We did a show about a few months back on a brother by the name of Mel Tucker. Y'all mm -hmm. remember that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Mel Tucker lost ninety million dollars dealing with the white woman. Dealing with the dealing white, with the white sweet white nigga. <laughs> him all that money. We put that show out. It got like a hundred thousand views. You know, it came out that the sister was lying. Blah blah blah. They're like, you gonna take it down? No. He still was dealing with the white woman. And he lost his job. Right. I don't care if he didn't do it or not. He was too close to her. Y'all don't understand that. The scripture says, flee from sin mm. as from a sin. On those levels. <laughs> or the Chinese woman, or the Arab woman, or any other woman, thus saith the Lord. <laughs> Love your own people. Now, for those that disagree with us, we say, you know, y'all wrong. I don't agree with that. Let me allow you, introduce mm. you to exhibit B. <laughs> Press play, please. Mm. Back to the factor uncensored. A jury found actor Jonathan Majors guilty of assaulting his former girlfriend, Grace Jabari. The actor was found guilty of a misdemeanor assault charge and harassment violation. He was also acquitted of a different assault charge Both. and aggravated harassment. Now, you see on his arm, he got two beautiful black women there. Boy, when, no when, way. when you go to court, you got the black woman. <laughs> but the reason why you in court, y'all finna find out that sweet eating my nectar got them all caught up. Eat my nectar. Mm. <laughs> Nothing like good old vitamin D white milk. <laughs> Press play. Harassment. The charges stem from an alleged domestic dispute last month. Now, Jabari accused him of breaking a finger, twisting her arm, hitting her head, and shoving her into a car. Hold on, His hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, that sound like he whooped right. her behind. Right. Right? Damn, Damn like domestic dispute. Hey, anytime, anytime you hear domestic dispute, mm -hmm. bruh, that sound like you just put a whoop and a beat down right. on somebody, right? right? Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> for February 6th, and she faces, or he faces rather, up to a year in jail so, for the assault conviction, uh -huh. and he is already seeing fallout. Marvel Studios has fired him. Hold on, Paul! Oh. Yeah. Hold on! Uh, fired! Yeah. This, this is, well, I forgot what was the name of uh, the movie he was in. Ant-Man, right? Yeah. But what was it? What was Creed. it? Creed. Creed 3? What, what, King or uh, Kong? Yeah. King the Conqueror. King, King the Conqueror. Yeah, King the Conqueror. King, this, this is the most powerful man in the Marvel Network. Right. He's the Thanos of Marvel. He can travel time, can't he? He can travel time. <laughs> but he can't defeat the white woman. <laughs> that can't, lets you know can't outrun him. you can't outrun Esau. <laughs> Even King the Conqueror. Damn has been conquered by the main, the original conquistador. <laughs> Understand that. Give me that and uh, uh, I won't, not won't do the run. I won't lewdness. It's lewdness. It's whoredom. It's hatred of your people. But wait, Tobit. before we get yep. that, before yep. we get that, we got to let the people see. They still ain't see it. They, you see yeah, that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They ain't even show her. They just show him. Right. Press play. We can get to the time step. I don't yeah, think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Upcoming projects, and that's gotta hurt. That check was going to be big. You see that? That check was gonna it. be big. Go ahead. Is that it? Uh, Smith, CEO of Regal Media, and Jira Davis. Glad to have you all here on the Factor Uncensored. First of all, are you surprised by this verdict? And was it a jury verdict? Or so, uh, he went to court for it. You know, it was a little, little. I watched the video. It wasn't nothing crazy. We gon' but no 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 cat we gotta show it because that's the best. Thing. Oh we watching it we watching it we watching all of them. But before we get that before we get that, the brother has said something about the white woman that shows you he's out of his mind mm. pertaining to his uh sweet nectar. <laughs> Go ahead press play on that. What are you doing right now? Period. This is actually period. Do you understand that? Yeah. Do you really know this? Do you really? Yes. Then how dare you come home drunk and disturb the peace of our house when we have a plan? I'm I would so like sorry. to get to I would like to get to the point where your friends know what job I'm on and go, I think Grace is gonna be out of commission. You know what I mean? Yeah, I I won't. So, like, I'm, I... No, no, do you understand that? Because because that team, that unit, right, 
Grace has to be in a certain mindset to support Coretta Scott King. Balls. 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 This man is talking oh, to his no. white uh-huh. girlfriend, yeah. telling her she need to be like Coretta Scott King. Damn. Bro, what are you talking about, man? But what he don't understand is this woman is set up to bring you down, my brother. Mm-hmm. You talking to the enemy about uh, uh, getting your own people out of oppression. That's all. Give me confusion of faces real quick. Daniel, yep, give nine, me Daniel, Daniel real yep, quick. Yep, yep. This is the ultimate level of confusion of faces. And this, and as you go throughout the article, I mean, this video, he'll show you that he understands who he is and he understands that she's not part of his culture. But for some reason, we think we, we up our own culture by going somewhere else. That ain't how you build your culture, brother. Boy, you, ain't no act, way. you actually diluting and you hate yourself when you do that. And you didn't know that because I think you got, um, what's the word? What's the word? I think you have. Um, Delusion of inclusion? <laughs> nah. <laughs> jungle fever. No, 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 no. <laughs> she got jungle fever. I think you're sincere in your efforts of what you're saying. I think yeah. you're sincere. You want to do right by your people. You want to do right by your people, but you, you misguided. it. You got that? Yes, sir. Read that. The book of Daniel, chapter 9 and verse 8. Mm-hmm. Oh, Lord, to us belongeth confusion of face. To us belongeth confusion of face. So much that you're talking to the enemy, the one that they sent in to destroy every movement, and you telling her, you got to be more like Coretta Scott right. King. <laughs> Come on, baby. Don't you know Coretta? <laughs> Go ahead. To our kings and our princes Uh and to our fathers, because we have sinned against thee. You see that? Because we sinned against God, now we go into our own enemies, asking them to mirror our foremothers. This is crazy. (laughs) This is I ain't never heard nothing like this. Press play on the video. Don't be my yellow head, (laughs) Coretta. Grace has to be a certain mindset to support Coretta Scott King. You know who that is? That's Martin Luther King's wife, Michelle Obama. Pause. Obama. Oh, Lord. Michelle Obama. Damn. Oh, Lord. I don't know if he missed the picture or not, but yeah. all of them are, uh, they, they the same race, my brother. Damn. <laughs> they the same race. They got the same background. They got the same culture. So it's not a problem for them to be able to understand the uh, depths of the leadership of their husbands. <laughs> She can't understand you because you are not her God, brother. Hell no. You are just a black man that got money. That's all you are to her. You a meal ticket. Go ahead, press play. I know, I'm not, I, I, I shouldn't have gone out. I'm no, sorry. Let me, just, let me just lay it out for you, right? If I am, I'm just going to say this. My temper, my shit, my trauma, blah, blah, all that, all that said, right? And I'm going to say, I'm a great man. A great man. Boss, this is King the Conqueror. He got to convince his wife that he good. Or his girlfriend. He trying to show her that he the prize. He's pleading with her. I'm good. All I need you to do is hold me down. I am somebody. Right. That's what he said. (laughs) I know I ain't white, but I'm somebody. I know I ain't who your daddy is. Right. But I'm somebody in this world. Go ahead, press play. I am doing great things, not just for me, but for my for my culture and for the world. That is actually the position I'm in. Pause. That's you see that? He says, I'm doing great things for my culture. Damn. Like I said, I think he's sincere in his efforts of what he's trying to do, but he's misguided. The brother is misguided big time. Brother, give me Proverbs 3 and 31 real quick. All right. All right. Proverbs 3 and 31, right. When he says the culture, that lets you know what? That our culture has been destroyed. Because if you was really in the culture, my brother, you would have you a a sister on your arm before you go to jail. Right. (laughs) But you got the sister on your arm after you leave the milk. Damn. That's backwards. Go ahead, read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 31. Uh Uh-huh. Envy thou not the oppressor. Do what? Envy thou not the oppressor. God says don't envy the oppressor. Who brought us here on slave ships? Your girlfriend. (laughs) Facts. Who sold us? Your girlfriend, father. Damn. Who raped us? Your girlfriend, mother. Damn. So that's what you ain't understanding, my brother. You got to wake up. Stop envying your oppressor. Read. 
and choose none of his ways. And do what? Choose none of his ways. Choosing his ways is by dating his woman. You ain't supposed to do that. You ain't supposed to do that, brother. That's not, the most I never set it up like that. Somebody may say, oh, this is screeching to my ears. Y'all saying that we can't get down with the other ladies? <laughs> The swirl ain't in? Hell no. Nah. You're telling me the swirling is sitting? That's exactly what we're saying. Deuteronomy 7 and 3, real quick. Swirling is sinning. That's what we're trying to tell y'all. And all our brothers that keep getting caught up with this, guess what? Hey, I, they keep getting what? Fired. Whether they guilty or not, you get fired. Meanwhile, she live her life just normal as, 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 as a daisy. Go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 3. Mm -hmm. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Neither what? Shalt thou make marriages with them. Uh -huh. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, uh -huh. nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. Jump up to verse 1. Let's see what they're talking about. Verse 1. When the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land where thou goest to possess it. The Israelites, read. And has cast out many nations before thee. Like the Egyptians, read. The Hittites. So we ain't supposed to be marrying no Hivite. And the Girgashites. No Girgashites. And the Amorites. No Amorites. And the Canaanites. No Canaanites. And the Perizzites. No Perizzites. And the Hivites. No Hivites. And the Jezubites. And the Jezubites, read. Seven nations greater and mightier than thou. Hmm. So he was speaking about other nations. The Israelite seed is special. He said, because y'all that special, y'all ain't supposed to be dealing with no other nation. Let's prove it furthermore. Give me that Nehemiah. I want Nehemiah real quick just to back it up about the interracial marriages because some people may say we lying. They may think we lying. You got that? Nehemiah 9 and 2. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 9 and verse 2. Mm -hmm. And the seed of Israel, hey, what? the seed of Israel, uh -huh. separated themselves. Separated themselves from what? From all strangers. From, whoa, 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 whoa. from what? From all strangers. Because somebody going to say, what about the mixed multitude, my brother? From all strangers. He separated us from all the strangers. And when was this? This was Nehemiah when he came before the whole nation. He said, hey, we got to repent of our sins. Things got to change. And what was one of the biggest sins that was involved in interracial marriage? And whether it was rain, sleet, or slow, he said, hey, everybody going to come up here and y'all going to put away these wives. Right. All y'all going to do. Finish it off. And stood and confessed their sins. They stood and confessed what? Their sins. So it was a sin to be mixed amongst with these other nations. Uh -oh. So if you got Becky on your arm, brother, you in sin. <laughs> If you got Jill on your arm, brother, you in sin. Yeah. If you got mm, 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 on your arm, you in sin. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't even Hold know. Up. No, I don't know up. no Japanese names. I don't know. I want half Eddie. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. That was if whoever you got, if it ain't of your own people, brother, you in sin. Understand right. that. Go ahead. You guys are neighbor. Oh yeah. Hey, uh, I know. I know the problem, Mr. Mayor, is he believe in our democracy. Mm. He don't believe. <laughs> He don't believe he's an Israelite. Right. Hey, give me that um, First Maccabees, verse 41. Bring it out. Chapter 1, verse 41. The book of First Maccabees, chapter 1 and verse... Oh, we got a call. First call of the night. Take that call, take that call, take that, take that like Diddy. All right. Hey, shalom, shalom. What's your name? Question to comment. Where you calling from? Hello, my sister Jehudaya from Detroit. Hey, one of our favorite callers. What's going on, sis? <laughs> um, the brother, he has, okay, I don't know what it is, but uh, is it just me or was he colorblind when he was staying in those couples? Because they, they were, was a, they were doing black for me. If I'm not mistaken, well, we, we're questioning Michelle, but the other one was black. Right. I couldn't hear you. I'm, I'm sorry. I couldn't I, hear you. I, I, I'm thinking that he was colorblind. A bit of Stockholm syndrome. Oh yeah. Or, or he kind of remind me of um that play, that uh skit that uh Dave Chappelle did when he um tried to be a Ku Klux. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I know yeah, what you're he, talking about. He's giving me that type of vibe. Uh, yeah, I agree, sis. Again, I agree. if you heard the accent, she's not even American. Right. She's British. Yep. Yep. 
That's even worse. They one, don't care about their British. 100%. I'm shocked they only going to give him one year of time. Yep. Well, he ain't really do nothing, but because he black, they got to give him something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we going to watch the video. <laughs> yeah, we got to get to that point still. But well, thank you, on, sir. Thank you for calling this. Everyone sis. made it back safely from the quest. All praise, all praise. Thank you, thank you. The scriptures say, where there is no vision, the people perish. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. I'm going to show you and prove to you that the Israelites are black were always black. Dinosaur time, just move up your body. Don't get loose and groove on the body. Bruce wine. Put on the arm of the procedure complete. Me not go back now, retreat. I'll treat as every Jezebel must get delete. Me no sleep on a demon, me keep a full clip. Conspire me down, fuck. Cause them wants to me slip. Stay close to the real ones where seal off and legit. Cause I gotta use them to keep your soul from the pit. This is our life. You was reading the scripture. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, 41. Yeah, yeah. Go, yeah, go, go finish that 41. Go. The book of First Maccabees, chapter 1 and verse 41. This is for, uh, what is this, John? John is first name? John Mayers. And we're taking another call. <laughs> Hey, Shalom, Shalom, call it. What's your name? Question, comment. Where you calling from? Shalom, brother. Uh, my name is Joanne. I'm calling from uh, Tyler, Texas. And uh, and just uh, to give you all some information, well, really to to really, I, I don't understand. The, I'm comparing Aaliyah Taylor. I don't know if you remember her. She um, last year, I think, well, maybe it's 2021, but anyway, uh, she was beaten almost to death mm. by her Edomite, her Caucasian boyfriend. He was a, a football player, Chad Wheeler. Mm-hmm. We was talking about mm-hmm. that. And, uh, yep. and he, he dislocated her arm. He, well, he dislocated her elbow. He, right. he broke her arm when she tried to get away from him. And uh, he lost, she lost consciousness t- twice because he tried to choke her. He put his fingers down her throat because he tried to kill her. And, uh, and she said, she said, uh, and he expressed a uh, surprise when, when he found out she was still alive because he really tried to kill her. And she said, I thought I was going to die. I, I couldn't think I breathe. That story. I was yeah, terrified. he was sitting there eating a bowl of and, cereal while she, he thought she was dying. Damn. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, she she's one of those. A black girl who who's trying to be an Edomite. She had her blonde hair going, and and that didn't stop him from trying to kill her. Right. He he tried to make her do an act of worship. That's what started it all. She tried. He said, "Bow down to me, and you worship me." Wow. <laughs> so it, and she said, "No." And he said, oh, "Well, I'll show you a thing or two. And right. he started trying to kill her. Damn. And uh, but but he went to uh he went to court in November, and I'm just waiting to see. Right. He, first- he can have up to five years. And uh, and I'm just waiting to see. He was supposed to have gone back the 14th of December, mm. and but I looked on, on, I googled it, and I didn't see anything most recent about that. But anyway, the uh, uh, the Most High tell us, you know, to separate from these people, to yep. you know, to stay away from them, and we're just just most of our people are just blinded by by I don't know by what I don't know. You tell me. Yep. They just blinded by what? Oh, uh, they 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 just it's Stockholm syndrome, sis. You hit it on the head. It's Stockholm syndrome. Stockholm they, syndrome. they they see God yeah. when they with their oppressor. They mm-hmm. see God, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. But thank you for calling in, yes. sis. Thank you, thank you all. Yeah, yeah. He 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 man, he stomped her, yeah. bro. Dang. I still remember that. We 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 had that on the show. Yeah, I, I remember. Yeah, lightly. Go ahead, finish that scripture for us. Uh, the book of First Maccabees, chapter 1 and verse 41. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom. Hey, instead of King uh, Antiochus, we're just going to call that America. Right. America wrote to her whole kingdom. Yep. What? That all should be one people. And mayors, listen. That's why he, he, he can be blurring the lines. You're like, right. Of course, my 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 girlfriend is Michelle Obama. Right, we one people. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> like, he don't, he don't see confused. color. He, I don't see color no more. Yep. yep. See, hey, she's a blue-eyed Michelle Obama. Mm. Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> yep. You know <laughs> what's crazy about? about that? Uh, obviously, it's funny you say that. 
black people are the one people on the face of the earth that that has melanin, mm-hmm. but we the first people mm-hmm. to be colorblind. Right. It's right. a damn shame. God gave you all the melanin on the earth, but we the only people that's always yelling about colorblind and God don't see color yeah. and we ain't got no color. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, everybody else like, nah, nigga, I see color. Mm-hmm. I don't like your kind. Damn. Hey, even if we is colorblind, just put your hand on the back of her neck. You right. can tell that right. she's right. right. your sister. Yep. Right. There you go. What you got, Lance? You, know hey, you, you know how, like, when you do something wrong and right before judgment come, you know, you, you try to fix it, right? Like, like, for example, a lot of people in the world, they think that, you know, before Christ come back, they can just say, oh, I believe, I believe. No, 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 no. I was looking at now. Now this brother getting all the scrutiny. Now he got a black girlfriend. You know, but that's something that you don't see with a lot of these brothers who they typically stay with white women with mm-hmm. after that stuff. All right. But uh, now the brother's with uh, uh, Megan, Megan Good. Good. Yep. He's with Megan Good. And now he got, a, he got my sister, so now I think he, he can apply yeah. that message to oh, yeah. her. He know, got that so. wake-up call. Yeah, he got, his, he got his nigga wake-up call. He got his nigga wake-up call. I was just talking to my brother about this the other day. I said, don't worry. Things good now. Don't worry. All, all that needs to happen is a little bit of adversity. You're going to find out real quick who she with. And, uh, and we still got to uh, see, uh, yeah, go ahead. We still got to see uh, what he did. Yeah, oh, we getting to it. Yeah, we getting to yeah. it. Where, uh, where are you trying to go? Uh, Surat, okay. uh 26. All right, go ahead. Yes, bring sir. it up. Uh, Surat 26 and 20. Just uh, to, to land off that point, because, uh, again, this is what happens when our people, it happens time and time again. And all praises the brother, Lord willing, he learned from his past mistake. He moved forward. He started to understand that he got to deal with his own people because right. that's the only way we're going to build a successful nation is when we do that. Right. But uh, read that real quick. The book of Sirach, chapter 26, verse 19. My son, keep the flower of thy age sound. Right. And give not thy strength to strangers. Right, right. Just like we was reading in Nehemiah, we're not supposed to be going unto the strangers. That's sin, according to the Bible. Read on. When thou hast gotten a fruitful possession through all the field, Mm. sow it with thy own seed. Right. So it says sow it with your own seed. That's who the people we're supposed to be dealing with is the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the 12 tribes of Israel. Read on. Trusting in the goodness of thy stock, mm-hmm. so thy race which thou leavest may shall be magnified. So if he wants to magnify the culture, if he wants to help the culture, he got to deal with his own people. He got to realize that we're the Israelites, and guess what? The other nations don't care about us. Right. Guarantee you, even if all this stuff get rectified, Marvel not picking them back up. The white man don't forget. They, they always say, oh, that was a long time ago. Forget about it. White man don't forget. They're not bringing them back to Marvel. So now he's going to have to build from the ground up, Lord willing, with a with a sister who really going to support him, who really going to show him, hey, hey, we the Israelites. We got to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. The Lord wanted the brother to learn from that mistake. Oh, <laughs> Hey, Kat, you, you know what's funny? Because you said about brother learn from mistake, right? Tiger mm-hmm. Woods should have been the nail in the coffin, bro. <laughs> Tiger Woods should have been the nail in the coffin. Damn. If you didn't learn before, that right there, mm. your man was on his own own house. He's not black, he's Caucasian. Mm. <laughs> hey, that's a heavy point. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, caller, what's your name? Question, comment, where you calling from? <laughs> caller. It's Tiger Woods. Caller, you know? Oh. <laughs> hey, this is a serious question. Because <laughs> no, they hung up. They hung up. You know, do they got a DC Studios? I know you got Marvel in DC. Can he go work for them? Mm. Find out. Black Adam. Black Adam. It's probably still owned by Jewish people. I, mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't know yeah. the difference. I just know it's Marvel in DC. I just heard people. Hey, let me get a script real quick. Yep. Hey, go to Proverbs chapter five. Because uh who is it? Tiger Woods. Um, who else? We got OJ. I mean, who else you said? Michael, Michael Jordan. Jordan. Oh, his day's coming. Yeah. Best believe yeah. his day's yeah. coming. Charles, Charles, oh, he's oh, married to Thor. Lord, That's don't different. even come on, bro. He's married to Thor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if, if we have a, uh, a race delegation, we, y'all can have him. I'm good. Damn. Uh, Proverbs chapter 5, because the officer brought out a heavy point in Sirach. It says that your race is magnified, right? All these brothers that go to the other nation. Let me show you some judgment. Go ahead, take that call. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, caller. What's your name? Question to comment. Where you calling from? Damn. Go ahead. Keep going. Officer. Proverbs chapter 5. and Told you, uh, Tiger Woods. Get to the point, verse 8. Yes, sir. Proverbs chapter 5, verse 8. Uh-huh. Remove thy way far from her. Get the hell away from her. Right. Read. And come not nigh the door of her house. Run. Read. 
lest thou give thy honor unto others uh -huh. and thy years unto the cruel. You be locked up doing a bed, read. Mm -hmm. Lest strangers be filled with thy wealth. They be having the bottom dwellers of the Edomite woman mm -hmm. cashing out on them. Mm -hmm. Remember Tiger Woods, that was somebody's nanny. Mm. And she came up off of him. Damn. And now you possibly, because this ain't done. I'm quite sure if this sister won, if this, my sister, this Edomite won a civil suit, he's going to have to break some bread. Yep. And we see this over and over again. The nations, brothers that get rich, come up with the white woman, and they cash out in their behinds. Yep. Message. Look at Michael Jackson's wife. Mm-hmm. It's the ugliest woman I ever seen. Hey, <laughs> you remember, uh, Cap, you remember a few years ago, I think a brother played for Buffalo, football player, mm -hmm. oh, and he bought an engagement ring mm. for the Edomite. Didn't even marry her. Got an engagement ring. She broke it off and got to keep the ring. Damn. The ring was like $4 million dollar ring Ooh, and something man. like that. Damn. Yeah, I don't even know nothing about that. Oh, I got to find a story. Yeah. Damn, that happened. Mm. Go so. back to this video. Press play. Real. I'm not going to think about it. I didn't ask for it. I've worked, and that's the situation. The woman that supports me, that I support, that work, that needs to be a great woman Pause. and make sacrifices. You see, hey, the brother ain't asking for nothing crazy. Mm -hmm. He ain't asking for nothing crazy. I need you to hold me down. <laughs> Give me that, uh, uh, well, the woman is a tower, a tower of defense. It's rock 26. It's rock 26. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. It's rock 26 and what? I won't. Let's start at verse 13. The book of Sirach, chapter 26, and verse 13. The grace of a wife delighted her husband. You see that? That's what he's like. Baby, I just need you to have some grace. Have some understanding of who I am. I'm rich, damn it. <laughs> I am a rich, powerful black man. I am King the Kong Conqueror. I need you to be Coretta Scott King for me, even though you're white. <laughs> Read. And her discretion will fatten his bones. Uh-huh. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. Mm. A shamefast and faithful woman is a double grace. And her continent mind cannot be valued. Three. As the sun when it ariseth in the high heaven, so is the beauty of a good wife in the ordering of her house. Now, jump to verse 22. Mm -hmm. Verse 22. A wicked woman. A wicked woman. Is given as a portion to a wicked man. Read. But a godly woman is given to him that feareth the Lord. So he looking for a godly woman. He wants somebody that's going to hold him down. But you ain't godly, my brother. You ain't keeping the commandments. You, you literally talking to the snake that God told you about, and you trying to seduce the snake. That snake ain't hearing nothing you saying. Now, read 22, please. Verse 22. Oh, my bad. <laughs> a harlot shall be accounted as spittle. Uh-huh. But a married woman. But a what? A married woman uh -huh. is a tower against death to her husband. You see that? He looking for that tower. One, they ain't married, and two, she ain't your people, brother. That's why you ain't going to get what you're looking for with that sister. You ain't going to get it. But our brothers keep falling for these traps. Why? Because they don't have the commandments. They don't have the spiritual eyes that we have. That's why I say a spiritual man judges what? All things. Because we're able to see. You have something? No. Okay. No. Now. Yeah, he's dealing with that Finish snake. that video. He's finish that to be video. A snake charmer. The way that man is making for her and for them, ultimately. Last night, you, two nights ago, you did not do that. I'm you sorry. did not do that. I'm sorry. Which, which took away from the plan. And the plan is everything. <clears throat> if it was just you in the house drunk, maybe I could have swallowed it. Or, or, or I would have felt bold enough like, oh, babe, let's just go to bed. Which I said, I'm just going to go to bed. I'm not, I'm not hungry, blah, 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 blah. Because Grace isn't here. Why? She was drunk. Why else? She was clawed. All right, by, you can uh, take that off. So this brother has been acting for a long time, y'all. If y'all don't know anything, you got Taraji B. Hansen right now. She crying about making money. Mm -hmm. This brother was just about to hit the peak. He been to hit the Denzel time of his mm -hmm. career. Right. He done been Kane the Crocker. He was in the, uh, what was the uh, movie there? Creed. 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 He, he was finna go. Yeah, he just has a couple of Netflix specials. Like, too. I'm yeah. talking Will Smith and, and uh, Denzel type money. Right. That's, what he, that's the stage he was finna be at. But now... She don't mess them up. Lord's will, he get himself together, he repent. 
but she, she don't cost him a lot of stuff. You hey, Kev, it was this. Oh, go ahead. No, good, good. I was just going to say, it was this mindset that got us originally thrown into Egypt. Mm. We were mixing in. The sons of God were mixing in with there the daughters go. of man. There you go. It was a problem. 100%. So this is a little clip so, so we can show y'all. So you can kind of get into the mind of Jonathan Majors. Press play. This, this thing. <laughs> we hired Georgina and Walter to help care for my parents. When they died, I couldn't bear to let them go. This is what we're saying to our brother. This is what we're saying to him. No, press play. Do you smoke in front of my daughter? I'm going to quit. She'd take care of that for you. How? Hypnosis. I'm good, actually. Are you ready for this? Yeah. That's how they looked so at look, Jonathan Majors, we'll right? Started, apparently, a whole bunch of brothers been missing in this suburb. But it's cool. Bro, how are you not scared of this, man? <laughs> you see no brother around here. He looking at Tiger Woods. That's Tiger Woods yep, right there. Yep. <laughs> That's it. Tiger Wood. Go ahead. Who Take the call. A dap. <laughs> hey, Shalom, Shalom, caller. What's your name? Question coming. Where you calling from? Hey, my name's uh, Terry, man. I'm calling from a little small town in Hanover, Pennsylvania. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I just want I just want to just pass this, just a little thought I was passing by you guys. To me, that the biggest problem that the, uh, the, the descendants of Hebrew slaves have of waking up, may, especially in America, if the black preacher seems like the number one enemy, just my feelings, the number one enemy is the black Christian pastor. He the one with the microphone, yet he lies every Sunday. To me, that's the number one enemy. Even To me, Esau is pushing him, but Esau comes after we get through him. We can't get through him first. Right. The, that's just my opinion. It's just the biggest enemy we got besides Esau. To me, the number one enemy is the black pastor. Yeah. No, hey, See, everything yeah. that they don't know that interracial marriage is a sin because does the black pastor tell them that hell no they got white women sitting up in the church with the dude there you go <laughs> so i mean so that's what i'm saying they, they, whatever happens to them they got a legitimate excuse to look us right in the face and say hey man i was never taught that yep. and they wouldn't be lying yep. from their birth to manhood they have never been taught that uh did not solomon sin by these things there you go strange wives they've never go. been taught that yep mm -hmm. so i mean so you so we got to ease up a little bit man these guys have been lied to all their life man the number one enemy is the black pastor. and guess what and brother I, we we agree with you and the bible agrees with you right all praise so I, just want, I just want to pass that by to me it's the black pastor i ain't letting him go bro he's the number one oh enemy. don't worry don't worry he coming he, he coming. coming up in his coming. power bottom Oh, we gonna damn. get him soon. Thank you for calling in, bro. Hey, hey Cat, yeah. you remember? Uh, it was last year we did a march. You remember? Um, I think it was in. Uh, I don't know if it's Pine Hills, but anyway, the the black pastor that had the white woman. He, he had. He was married mm -mm. to the white woman. He had the bus. He had the bus, oh, yeah, and it yeah, was yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him and his and, white and woman. And is he yeah, the white yeah, wife? Yeah, yep. He was a pastor of the church. I do remember down that. there at a black event. Yep. So what dude is saying is he right on point? No, he on point this? because the pastors they uh, validate, they give everybody a encouragement to mm -hmm. continue, mm -hmm. and it all goes back to what God did away with the laws of God. So once you you can do whatever the hell you want to do, and they let it happen. So let's see what happened in the video, y'all. Press play. <clears throat> Read that. Video released from Jonathan Major's trial shows the actor's ex-girlfriend chased him down in NYC after what prosecutors say was a violent march encounter inside the backseat of a car service. So they, they arguing. He put her back in the seat. I don't know what they're arguing about. And amazed, stay the car. <laughs> <laughs> so he gets out. He trying to get away from her. She looks real scared. He literally running from this woman. She looks real woman. scared. He running from this woman. Damn. Look at that, y'all. Run for This it. man run is running. It. Run. <laughs> hey, that creep training paid off. <laughs> <laughs> this man is running down the street from the white woman. He's going to play oh, Deion Sanders crazy. in the biography. Hey, can I get a round of applause from the, from the, from the IT, please? <laughs> Damn. You cannot get away from the white man. Just let you know. 
He connected about 10 blocks worth of footage. Hey. That boy got slave feet. Look, she about to get hit. Uh, Damn. Damn. This is crazy. So she got some good cardio, though. Hey, he gone. Hey, that's what I'm about to say. When he hit that corner, I would have hit an alley out of it. <laughs> <laughs> out of it. Bro, he's in boots. <laughs> yeah, you got them Levi's, man. He's you got some boots. Levi's on. He's still oh, running. Uh, you can't man. outrun the sweet white net. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Call it. What's your name? Question, comment. Where you calling from? Oh, I just have a comment. Uh, what? Have you all seen the uh, documentary? What they have out uh, right now about the global, what they plan to do in the future with these robots and putting people's mind in them and everything? No, sir, I have not. Uh, could I uh, get a number and I can text it to someone so you can uh, check it out? Send it to our email, iuic.orlando at israelunite.org. It's on the screen, too. Okay, and thanks. And yes, sir. Praise to the most high. Most high. All right, Shalom. Most high. So, you see the woman chasing after him. Give me that in First Peter about the devil roars about as a lion. This is what y'all don't understand. He made the 100% right decision, but he made it at the wrong time. The way y'all see him running, that's what he should have did the second he seen her. <laughs> he waited too late. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he can't run too fast because when black people are running, it's a problem. Right, right, you know, right. Then, he, then, you know, he got a coat on and everything. And it would have turned out a little different. <laughs> Stop! A black man! <laughs> Why are you running from a white woman? <laughs> right. This man is literally running. And he got video of him running from He still got convicted. Hey, still, that, that's what I mean. That's he crazy. He still got convicted. That's, that's crazy. crazy. Yeah, and the way they framed the story, right. like he whooped her. Right. Ass, and he trying well. to get away from her. He trying to get away. That let you hey. know she crazy as hell. But to white people, it look like he's, he's he snatched a purse since right. he's trying to get a purse back. Damn. That's what it looked like to white folks. Damn. <laughs> Somebody before I grabbed him. Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Go ahead and read that. First Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Uh-huh. Be sober, be vigilant. Be sober, be vigilant, read. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, mm. walketh about seeking whom he may devour. You see that? That white woman out there roaming whom she can devour. My brother said, I got to go. I got to go. I got to flee from this woman. Give me Sirach 21. This is a prime example. Sirach 21, <laughs> verse 2. My brother applied this scripture to the T, but Woo! he did it too late. Yep. Yep. He yep. did it too late, y'all. And this is, hey, this is, you had Tiger Woods. You had, uh, who my man, uh, what's his name, the coach? Mel Tucker. Mel Tucker. Now you got, uh, what's my Jonathan Majors? The most I keep giving y'all examples over and over and over again. Go ahead, read that. Sirach, chapter 21 and verse 2. Mm -hmm. Flee from sin. Do what? Flee from sin. Flee from sin. Flee from the interracial marriage. Flee from Becky. Read. As from the face of a serpent. As from what? The face of a serpent. As from the face he of a serpent. He was running from the face of a serpent. <laughs> Read. <laughs> For if thou comest too near it. You see that? You get too close, too near. You get in that back seat with that serpent. It will bite thee. It'll bite you. It'll make you lose your Marvel contract. $400 million gone down the drain. Yeah. 20 years of acting. All your time you put in building up your resume so you can get paid $30 million for one movie. Gone over a broken finger, my brother. You broke her finger because she acting crazy. Ain't no telling what she did to provoke you. Nobody care because you, 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 Jonathan Majors. Read it again. For if thou comest too near it, it will bite thee. It will what? It will bite thee. Mm. The teeth thereof are as the teeth of a lion. You see that? The teeth thereof as the teeth of a lion. Y'all going to learn sooner or later. You can't keep dealing with these other nations like that. Now, give me Hell that Tobit nah. real quick, and then we're going to move on. Tobit. And, I mean, it was. That's yep. straight slander, bro. Yep. Tobit, yeah, 4 and 12. That is straight slander. The Go book ahead. of Tobit, chapter 4, verse 12. Mm. Beware of all whoredom. Hold on. Hold on. We got a caller. We got a caller. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, caller. What's your name? Question or comment? Where you calling from? Shalom. This is Sister Deborah from um, Orlando. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, sis. Shalom. Excuse me for my voice. I'm not feeling too well. My throat is not clear, but I just wanted to allude. Also, first of all, let me welcome all of you brothers that went out on the battlefield to push the truth so that the people or people can wake up and come back to their nationality and their identity. All praise. All praise to the Most High for that. But just to allude to the brother that called in earlier about the black pastor. Mm-hmm. 
and just also to add to what you guys are saying about um, how we are so quick to go to the other nations, right. um, not understanding or not seeing or coming to the realization to know that when we go to those people, we are burying ourselves even deeper instead of waking up and coming to the truth and understanding who we are and not and not wanting to go to those people for whatever because of what Deuteronomy said that, you know, the curse that is upon us. And just to allude to what the brother said earlier, I'm not sure if the scripture um, is correct. I think it's Deuteronomy, not Deuteronomy, Jeremiah 23, and I think it's verse 1. I'm not sure if that's all right. Precept to bring out when he said that the black pastors are our worst enemy. And mm -hmm. it is sad to say that, but it's the truth. All praises. All praises. Thank you for calling in. <laughs> so read that verse in Tobit. Tobit chapter 4, verse 12. Uh huh. Beware of all whoredom, my son. Beware of all whoredom, my son. Read. And chiefly. And what? And chiefly. Chiefly mean this is of the utmost importance for our nation, for our nation building, <laughs> for the culture. If you're really part of the culture, Jonathan Mazes, read. And chiefly, take a wife of the seed of thy fathers. Of the seed of your fathers, read. And take not a strange woman. Don't take the milk, my brother. Read. To wife. Uh huh. Which is not of thy father's tribe. You see that? The Bible made it plain. Don't take somebody that's not of your tribe. So if she's saying she's uh, uh, Indonesian, if she's saying I'm British, I come from the line of the Sir Waltons, Hell no. that ain't your people. Read. For we are the children of the prophets. You got to find a sister. Or if you're if you are, if you're a woman, you gotta find a brother that has the same lineage as you. <laughs> Read Noah, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. Remember, my son, that our fathers from the beginning, even that they all married wives of their own kindred. You see that? That's the culture. That's what's in my brother. Read. And were blessed in their children, uh -huh. and their seed shall inherit the land. Read. Now, therefore, my son, love thy brethren. Do what? Love thy brethren. You see that? If you really love your people, this is what you're going to do. Read. Love thy brethren, and despise not in thy heart thy brethren, uh -huh. the sons and daughters of thy people. Read. And not taking a wife of them. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, caller. What's your name? Question, comment, where you calling from? Brother John. Huh? Out of Bat out Brother John out of Baton Rouge. All right, what's going on, Brother John out of Baton Rouge? Oh, uh, okay, brother. It's some good, good subject, good subject here. All yeah, right. We don't learn we don't learn from mistakes. Uh I had a brother the brother that was in high school back in nineteen sixty four. Damn. And uh, he was going with his white girl in, in a small town called Plaquemine, Louisiana. Mm -mm -mm. Everybody everybody in the town knew he was running with the white girl. He was he was in junior high during high school. And uh when he graduated from high school, he married a sister. Mm. Once he married a sister, he saw said that he was raping her. Damn. The brother left right out of high school. How about I guess he was two years out of high school. Went straight to Angola and died there. Damn. He never he, he never got out alive. Mm. And she just made it up. Yeah. Made it up out there because she was jealous. She just made it up. Everybody, everybody, white and black, knew he was running. They were running together. Right. But once he, once he got out of high school and married a sister, he got pissed off. Damn. Yeah. Yep. Just that, like Emmett, Emmett Till deal. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, and guess yeah. what? There's probably a hundreds of thousands of that same mm -hmm. story that we don't mm -hmm. know about. Oh man, that's mm -hmm. one of them that I'm sure of. I, I witnessed that. Damn. That's sad, yeah. man. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Well, thank you for calling in and bringing, this, bringing these scriptures to life. Doing a great job. All right, please. Read verse 13 again. Verse 13. Now, therefore, my son, love thy brethren, and despise not in thy heart thy brethren, the sons and daughters of thy people. So when you don't love your brothers and the sons and daughters of your people, read. And not taking a wife of them. When you don't take a wife of your own people, you despise your own people. Mm -hmm. That's what y'all don't understand. You despise your own people when you don't marry those that look like you. Mm -hmm. That come from the same background as you. Our people, we, we, we don't made up in our mind that we just trying to elevate, 
you know, love is colorblind. Oh, no, no, no. That ain't what the Bible say. What scripture is that? That's an Eve song. Right. What scripture is that? Guess what? That ain't in the Bible. Hell no. And not only that, Cap, there was a time, like, I remember when I was coming up, um, if you dealt with anybody outside your race, your mm. mama would be like, you don't love me because mm. you want somebody that don't yep. look like your mama. Yep. There you go. You know what I'm saying? There so somewhere go. along the line, that has stopped being Damn. taught as well. Mm. That's that's a heavy point right there. That's a heavy point. Read uh, Read the rest of that. For in pride is destruction and much trouble, mm-hmm. and in lewdness is decay and great want. And whose community is in lewdness and mm. great want more than ours? Look at our society today. Look at what our women look like. Look at what our men look like. That we, because of the interracial marriage, we are at the bottom of society. Because Bishop said it a long time ago, show me who you married to, and I'll show you who your allegiance is to. And guess what? It just so happened, the more affluent of our people, the more powerful of our people, all of them on their arm as somebody of another nation. Mm -hmm. So every time we able to even pass on some inheritance, are we able to, uh, what's the word, lobby for our own communities? We don't do it. Why? Because we got Becky on our arm, or we got Susie on our arm, or we got Allah Akbar on our arm, whoever it is. (laughs) You got somebody of another nation and they're getting the benefits of the power that you acquired mm-hmm. from your skill set and your talents instead of your own people. Go ahead, Kat. You have hey, yeah, yeah. Get numbers 25 and 6 because I'm going to show you this thing been around from the beginning. Mm-hmm. The same spirit been around from the beginning. Read that. Numbers 25 and 6. So after Moses just went through killing brothers because of this same thing, hanging their heads up right. to be an example. He said, I can't take it. Here no goes Jonathan Majors. <laughs> I can't take it. The book of Numbers, chapter 25 and verse 6. Uh-huh. And behold, one of the children of Israel came and brought unto his brethren a Midianitish woman in the sight of Moses uh-huh. and in the sight of all the congregation of the children of Israel who were weeping before the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. Weeping because Moses had just went through right. and, and had, uh, and had uh, placed judgment on us, right? Go ahead. And when Phineas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, saw it, he rose up from amongst the congregation and took a javelin in his hand. Uh huh. And he went after the man of Israel into the tent mm-hmm. and thrust both of them through. Mm. Go ahead. The man of Israel and the woman threw her belly. Uh huh. So the plague was stayed from the children of Israel. You see that? There was a plague on right. us because of this uh, interracial. Marriages. Go hey, ahead. shalom, shalom. Yeah. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation. Oh!